Good morning guys, welcome back to Florida Day 14, our last final full day here in Disney. Which is sad, yep. but we decided, you know what, we're going to spend it at a water park. We're going to go to Typhoon Lagoon. It's been a long while since we've been to Typhoon Lagoon. Uh, yeah, because it was actually. Yeah, it's because it was closed last time. Yeah, it was Blizzard Beach last time, wasn't it? Yeah. And so the time before that was Typhoon. So we have, okay. we have got some Typhoon Lagoon vlogs up, but I'm excited to see it again. So yeah. Obviously, if you remember, guys, it rained last time, so we had to leave early, didn't we? So hopefully the weather stays all right and we can get loads of more yeah. slides done. So we didn't do that much, did we? No. Nothing. Well, we said that, obviously, every time we come to Typhoon Lagoon, it always rains. And a lot of people say, it doesn't matter if it rains if you're in a water park because you're always it already does. wet, but they, they close everything. Because if there's lightning in the area, they close all the pools close and the slides, so yeah. you can't do anything. So You can go and eat stuff, but that's about it. We're just hoping but that, yeah. you know, it is going to rain, rain at about two o'clock. I mean, it's blue skies at the minute, guys. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, it does say there's rain due, but hopefully it's later on. Yeah, I agree, yeah. I agree. Uh, but I'm excited to be back here. It's just the same, we, could, we couldn't go to Blizzard Beach as well. For some reason, they've closed it again. I'm not sure why, because I, I said this like a few years ago, that the Typhoon was my favorite water park, but you yeah. know what? After going to Blizzard Beach again, that was, it was just amazing. We had, I think it was because it was so quiet as well. We had such a good time going to Blizzard Beach. Um, we got to ride everything multiple times. And that, that's why I was like, this is my favorite. Then we went to Volcano Bay and that became my favorite. So we'll see I what think happens. I Volcano Bay is still my favorite. I think and then so. Typhoon Lagoon, then Blizzard. Is yeah. What I think anyway. We'll find out today anyway. We'll find out, yeah. yeah. So we're just, everybody's here now. Ben and Nat have just turned up as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a locker, put some valuables in the locker. We're going to keep our bags with us because there's only like yeah, towels and sun cream. I'll just put my purse and stuff in yeah. this locker. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll see how much it is. Yeah, is I'll it let free? you know. It's not free, is it? It's no, they don't give us free stuff. Never free in Disney. So we'll let you know the price of that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Let's go get a locker and let's enjoy a water park day. We have switched to the GoPro, so if the audio is different, that's why. Uh, we've got our sun lounges, it's really quiet at the moment. We have got here at 10 a.m. Really um, cool. Our beds are right opposite the boardroom, which is just there. And opposite the wave pool is right in front of us as well. Yeah, so the beds are all here. Look how empty it is. Oh, yeah, I know. Look at that. It says this area will close at 4 p.m. today. I don't know what that's for, but we'll be long gone by that point, won't we? I think. Yeah, well, but there's the wave, guys. There's the wave pool. This yeah, is by far. Like, this is the wave pool, it's just one big wave coming at you. This is the best wave pool, but look at that woman get thrown around. You actually do get thrown around. Might just dip my feet in, not, might not go all into the wave, you know. Yeah, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to have a quick walk around. It's been a while since we've been here, see, so we're just going to look at what is, what type of food there is, uh, what kind of rides I'm going to yeah, take you along. A few of the slides and stuff like, like we did with the other vlogs. I really enjoyed that, and I think everyone enjoyed, you know, having to see what it was like. It's not just people vlog the water park, because right. obviously, We've walked and everything, no one wants to get the cameras out, do they? Start in the morning, right? Yes, for sure. Start of course. Hey, let me have a sip. Have a sip. Yeah. This water was a bit chilly then. It made everything shrizzle up. Mm, good. Good, good, like good time. Nice and relaxing. Beautiful. Yep. We've got the boat up there. The ship's boat on the top. One um, of the rides is closed today, though. Mayday Falls, it says. Closed. Um, I don't know why they might be redoing it or refurbing. Haven't it. they already refurbed? Well, you know what Disney like? They've only just refurbed Blizzard Beach and it's back shut again, isn't it? I'm gonna quickly show you the Lazy River. This is super relaxing and it's out in the open as well, so it's great to catch a uh, suntan. Yeah, we'll have to go on it. We didn't go on the slow one at um, Volcano Bay, did we? No. We just literally did the fast one because it's better. 
but yeah, maybe she's gone there. Eh? Also, yeah. if you want to know why Lucy is in a t-shirt, it's because she severely burnt her back. Because she's silly. Yeah, being that person who's wearing a t-shirt a lot of time over yeah, my swimsuit. She's burnt herself. I don't want to get it in the sun. I don't want the sun beating on it. And you know what? What parts are like you burn easily into yeah, the water. Easily. So I'm just going to be repping this Ralph top that yeah. Steve kind of gave me for today. Oh well. Ketcha Kitty D Creek, whatever it says. Ketcha Kitty Creek. Ketcha Kitty Creek. Hey. Oh, yeah. And there's that for the kiddies. Yeah, that's like the little splash pad in it. As a kid, I would have absolutely yeah. loved that. And it's like little slides, yeah. tunnels, like the water thing coming down. It's brilliant. Let's find some adult stuff. Yeah. There's the Mickey. What I want to say as well is the best thing about being at a Disney water park is. They allow you to film on yeah, everything. This is one thing that Universal doesn't allow you to do. It's such a shame, especially if you do want to record it. Um, for, you know, for yourself. I'm sure everybody wants to record stuff. It's just a shame that they don't do it. But Disney are so open for you to, to do it with a GoPro. They do also do say, if you are going to record it and you'd have like a, an extension tripod, just make sure it's not extended. You just have to keep it as on its lowest setting. Uh, but other than that, they don't have a problem with you filming on anything. That's why I absolutely love coming to Disney World Park. That way we can capture everything. Hey, there's the um, Disney Springs balloon. You know, I never knew, I never knew you could see that from here. And yet, I still haven't done it. How have I still not done that? To be fair, every time I've tried, it's been a huge queue. I don't mind paying for it. I'm not shy, like, it's just a massive queue, I'm not a big fan of queuing. The famous photo spot that is the Typhoon Mickey. Nice. The Forgotten Grotto. You see, there's a lot of this I, I forget. I forgot a lot of this yeah. thing because we've not been for a while. I feel like we've got, we have bought this bit before. Oh, for sure. I remember being like that, obviously, that's where the wave is. That's where the wave is. <laughs> I love how they say it's storm supplies. Yeah, because it's like um, this theming is like a shipwreck because of a storm in it. So yeah. that's like the theming of it all. Because obviously that boat at the top is shipwrecked. And then all this, obviously, you can see the theming. It's all like a storm's hit it. And you can see as well, as a lazy river comes around, it's all out in the open. A little bit of trees cover it, but it stays. I mean, it's, it's most of it is out in the sun. So if you are going to go in it, just be careful with. I mean, like loose, she burns herself. Should be very careful, but I. Body's delicate, guys. All right. Oh, excuse you. Does that mean the I, I, I honestly couldn't tell you. I don't know. I reckon that's the. Uh, the warning. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Patiently waiting. He said in 15 seconds, didn't he? Oh, did it? Yeah. You alright, guys? Smashing some slides out. I'm jealous. We're just having a little bit of a tour. A little, little tour? a little oh. Typhoon Lagoon tour. Brewing, you see it all brewing here. Look at it. It's coming. It's coming. It's prepping her back. Oh. Here we go. So apparently those waves come every 90 seconds. So if you're curious, I actually asked that question when I came out. I said I was going to ask one of the lifeguards how, how often do they come. So once that siren and the commentator makes those, you know, announcements, it's every 90 seconds. I'm not sure how long that lasts, whether it's for over the course of like 10 minutes, but that's how, that's how often they come. So these are the wick. These are the races. These are the... Uh, Humunga Kawabunga. Five story plunge down. I don't think I'll be doing these. Wow. To be honest with you, when you're comparing that to the Summit Plummet at Blizzard Beach, these look tiny. Well, yeah, yeah. Don't they? So we found the cocktail bar. Here's the menu. Banana Cabana. Ooh, that looks really good. Are we getting a Cabana banana today, or Banana Cabana? Maybe. I've seen this before. No, it's no. like a shark. Theme. Shark theme. It's called the um um honestly not sure. Live bait. <laughs> um Sharkus Gigantus maybe. That's him. That's that's him. him. Yeah. Says, that means real really big shark. Mega. Mega. 
So it says on the top, Hammerhead Friends. Maybe it's called that. I think that's the name of the bar. We've just seen Typhoon Tillies as well. This is a food and spirit section. This is where I got an ice cream from. And that um, frozen lemonade. Yeah. Last time and it was really good. Let's see what they sell. Obviously, it's all closed at the moment because it's still just opened. So yeah. this looks really good. You're not a fan of that? No. Fish tacos? Salt fish. Oh. No, they got chicken strips. Oh, but for, oh. Fish, no, with chicken strips. So that looks pretty decent. Nice. To be honest with you, the, I, it's weird saying this, but one of my favourite meals I've had this trip was the fish and chips from the UK Pavilion in Epcot. That was the best fish and chips I've ever had. It was beautiful. We found ice cream as well. So we actually had these last trip, but we actually didn't press record on the camera, so it, it melted away. Yeah, we had them both, didn't we? Yeah. I had the hey hey and you tried the Moana. Yeah. Maybe we'll have to get them again. I think so. But they have them also over door whips here as well, but if you don't want an actual ice cream, yeah. you can get door whips, you can add alcohol into them. And I think that's it, guys. We're gonna, not going to eat any food. Crush and gusher. Crush and gusher. Uh, yeah. We're not going to eat any food because, as you saw, that we had donuts this morning. They were from Voodoo Donuts last night. Um, and we had them for breakfast. You had the maple. Maple bar. And I had the chocolate coconut, I think it was. Amazing. Really good. Uh, it could have done with a little bit more of a, I would say, liquid in the centre of the donut. I know it was a ring. It's just a ring. Right? What, from buying it yesterday and eating it this morning, it was oh, still yeah. super, super fresh. Super so. fresh. You know Voodoo, Voodoo's amazing. They do some they do some really weird flavours. They just brought out a new one which is like cornflakes and sriracha on it. Oh, I think I'll be trying that. Uh Crush and Gosha, this is also this a five-minute wait. One ride we didn't get to last time because the storm came and they shut everything down. And this yep. is the only ones we didn't do. So we need to make sure we get on these. Let's do it. So you go on as a two. And they kind of like the volcano bay cracker tower, but obviously not as yeah. not a massive drops. But I think these are my favourite from when I've been before. Yeah. Crush and Gushers were walking, which is fantastic. We're just gonna head on to Miss Adventure Falls now. This is one of our favorite ones. It's nice because we can actually all go together. Well, hopefully, weight dependent on these two. Hopefully, they won't separate us this time because we were at Volcano Bay, we weren't allowed to ride together, unfortunately. So, fingers crossed. I don't think they weigh you on this section anyway, so I think we're good. The Crush and Gusher, there's three of them. Apparently, the banana one's the best one. And to be fair. We've been all three and it was, I think. But they're all very similar though. They're all very short. Yeah. But yeah, if you, You've got if banana, you bananas, coconut, pineapple. and pineapple, pineapple, aren't you? Yeah, banana is totally the best. Yeah, so. I mean they're all great, and they're, they're like good, at walk-ons. You can't argue. Definitely not. This is a walk-on too. Woohoo! Woo! Let's go, buddy. This is great. Yes, I like this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure this ring ain't big enough. Adventure Falls. It was a walk on. It was great. I don't know how the hell we all squalls. It was a tight squeeze, <laughs> let me tell you that. We had some weight on that, didn't we? <laughs> and as we came up, we met some lovely viewers. So Pam, Paul and Chris, it was so nice to hi meet guys. you guys. Thanks for saying hi. Uh, we appreciate that when people say hi. So, uh, yeah, it was lovely to meet you guys. Super nice people. Yeah. Um, so the plan now is we're going to have got bloody sun cream. But you know that thing when you get sun cream in your eye? Yeah, my lashes are like... Oh, it's like it's when like you get... Sticking together. You get sweat in your eye and you're like... <laughs> you know what I mean? 
<laughs> so we're going to head to the, what we're going to head to, you know what they're called, the racing ones. Is it like Cowabunga thing? Not the Cowabunga ones, we're going to do that. Yeah, um, and I'll film you coming off the end. Lucy, like yeah, Lucy's not a big fan, so she's not going to do it. These guys said it really hurt, so yeah, I'll be the you. judge of that. So we're just about to hit Gangplank Falls. I'm not I can't remember this one, I'm not gonna lie. Lucy can. I don't remember it. I know it's just going together, it's a family party rap ride. Yeah. But yeah, I don't remember it. It also looks to be a walk on, which is uh great great success, I like. Oh that's cold. Oh damn. Yeah, they are. Can you in your face? I'm enjoying having this t-shirt on guys, help him about. Yeah, bless you. You might be the one that truly got me. Super short, but you do get very, very wet, yeah. don't you? Yeah, yeah, we're just about to head to Keel Hall Falls now. I think it's another ringed one, but we come on, we're gonna go on separately, obviously. Yeah. Singular, yeah. This will be a lot better than that one. Still good, but very short. Yeah, I feel like they're quite short ones. Aren't they? Also, another walk on, which is fantastic for us. situation where she was in a ring and a child actually got stuck beneath her um, and I don't I, know if he was trying to get in the ring from you know like where they swim underneath and yeah. come up into the ring but I was sat on it and I was like what's was a, that underneath me so obviously got out it was a kid, so it was was a kid stuck trying, underneath her yeah. but, um, so just be careful kids if you're gonna do that just be very careful yeah, like, I think they were just messing around but I was like yeah. why are you trying to push me out my tube man yeah you just gotta be just be careful I don't um, think he liked me <laughs> fighting with a child literally it was pushing me out my ring guys <laughs> Just trying to enjoy a lazy, you know. Lazy cruise. Lazy cruise. Oh, oh well. Just be careful. Yeah, we're gonna do one round of this, aren't we? Then maybe go on the wave pool. We are. 
That's the plan. That is the plan. I like. I've just come across this sign and it's showing all the food and beverage places around Typhoon Lagoon, which is good. So you've got Leaning Palms, Crush Cart, open seasonally, Low Tide Blues, Let's Go Slurping. That might be quite good to get a frozen drink. You've got Happy Landings, which looks like just the ice cream bits. Snack Shack, I might go there for get a Dole Whip. You've got Surf Doggies and then Typhoon Tillies. So that's all them and that's all what they sell. Just pause the video here if you want to read all that. I'm not going to go through it all, but that's quite good. So it tells you, you know, if you're fancying like a burger, where to go, rather than just walking around and trying to find something. So that's good. So we've actually just come to Leaning Palm Resort Dining, which is just here. We've gone for burgers. I've gone for a cheeseburger. Steve's gone for a chicken burger and we'll show you when we get it. Um, not too sure the price, but we'll let you know that as well. But it's just near where we're actually sat. So if you just go over this bridge, there's a wave pool. So not too far, but I will show you when it comes. We're just waiting for it now. You can also do mobile order over there, which is really quiet as well. But still quiet in this queue. So I went for a chicken burger with only the ranch on it with some really big chips slash fries. And Lucy went for a cheeseburger with none of the salad on it. Yeah, we, we don't, don't like do that, that, do we? No, I also had a uh, chocolate milkshake as well, which was like really thick, really nice. Uh, but I've drank it already. It just because it, it took a little bit of time. <laughs> no surprise the food to come. there, guys. I didn't want it to melt, so I just drank it. But it was beautiful. Yeah. It's one of those typical kind of American style. It looks, thick, it looks really good. Thick chocolate milkshake. So yeah, beautiful. Give nice. your burger a try yeah. then. Thirty dollars ninety six for all this. It looks like the fries as well have got some sort of seasoning on them. Don't know if you can tell on the vlog, mm. but that chicken's really good. Mm-hmm. I found any fries because they look like they've got seasoning on them. I don't know what, but it's like peri peri salt it looks like. It won't mm. be, but... Mm. <laughs> it's quite similar to peri peri salt, yeah. you know? I don't think it is, but I like how they've got a bit of seasoning on them. 20 minutes later... Never wait. That's up to the... Never wait. Oh, no! to the wave pool is what I was trying to say. But I got a little bit nervous then. Whew. Lucy won't come in. Yeah. And I don't know where Ben and Chris are. I'm gonna see how close I can get. So I can ride down. <laughs> That didn't hurt, did it? 
Yeah. Why don't boxing ring? Yeah, because he said it's all like it keeps hurting his back or his bum. But it doesn't hurt me at all. It's not like the um summit plummet. That after a bit hurts. Hi guys. Not give me it. Alright, go kick it. So now we've got Liam, we're gonna go and hit the Miss Adventure Falls again. So we all really enjoyed that. And again, it does seem to be a walk -off. So we have found a snake. It looks to me like it's trying to get out. Wow. Yeah. No, he's still at tell him. Wow. I've never seen a snake here. And just like that, we are done at Typhoon Lagoon now. It's currently 20 to 3. So, Leanne and Luce have now gone back to the hotel room to wash the hair. So, I've decided I didn't want to go back and sit in the hotel room. So, me, Ben, Chris and Nat are all going to head to Disney Springs. We're going to go and collect Chris's um, magic band for the last day. And we're going to pick up a few things for Nat. Like the, uh, the, like the diffuser oil things, the clover one and stuff like that to take back home. Because I said it's the last time we're going to be going. So, the boss is just here. Uh, so let's jump on that and then I'll talk about Typhoon Lagoon when we get to Disney Springs. So we've just arrived at Disney Springs. It literally took us five minutes, if that, to get from Typhoon Lagoon here. Um, but overall, it was such a good day. Typhoon Lagoon was so quiet. I mean, every single ride was a walk-on, which kind of we kind of guessed it was going to be like, because when we turned up, we was bang on time and there weren't many queues getting in. Like, there was a little bundle of people. So every single ride was a walk-on and we saw a snake um, on the path for the first time. I've never seen a snake wandering around in uh, Florida before. Uh, so that was cool. But the food was really good. Um, I never ended up getting a cocktail, which is sad. The time flew by because we were constantly riding rides and going in the lazy room and stuff like that. We finally went back to the loungers and it was like two o'clock and Lou said like, bloody hell, I've, I've got to go. Uh, so, I mean, that just shows how much of a good time we had. We just got carried away on, on the rides. But overall, such a cool ride. I do personally think Blizzard Beach has better rides i feel like they're a lot faster they're a lot longer same as volcano bay um but overall still a really really good park not a favorite i actually originally thought it was going to be my favorite but i think that's changed now i think it goes volcano bay blizzard beach then typhoon which you know people are going to come for me for that but i, I don't know i think it's just the rides the rides are not as thrilling at typhoon again it's very chilled and, and everything's slower if you get me seeing the laser river it's super slow super chilled uh, but i'm more of a thrill kind of guy 
So yeah, I would say Volcano Bay, Blizzard, then Typhoon. Um, but we are outside the Town Centre Storage House, which is the Lost and Found pickup section. Uh, we're going to grab Chrissy's Magic Band now, have a quick look around. He really wants to check out the Lego store. So we're going to have a quick look around Disney Springs, pick up a few things, and I'll uh, take you along with me. So I always say this about Lego, if I had a place for it, I would definitely get some Lego. Because imagine having all this set up. Like I need some sort of like man cave or something. I need something. But right now I just don't have a place for it, unfortunately. There's a lot of things that I really like. I really want the Back to the Future, the Back to the Future car, I want the GT500. I can actually see the GT500 right now. It's there. I'm not gonna lie, I personally don't think it looks much like a GT500, but I like the idea of having it. Is that the GT3 RS or just 911? I'd love that one as well. Oh, and the RR. But I just don't have no place for it. Lucy would definitely have us having the Home Alone house, the Disney castle, the DeLorean. She'd definitely have us having that. So from a distance, I have just seen, um, I think that could be the Discovery from NASA. I've seen the DeLorean. This is what I would love. I love the Porsche 911 as well, that's really cool. You can also get the Titanic, I wouldn't have the Titanic like, but I like the idea of it. Some of the Coliseum, I wouldn't have it, but I really like the idea of it. How much is that? $550 for this, $679 for the Titanic. And there's a Home Alone house, $299 for that. I think the DeLorean takes it for me, $199. This is absolutely mega. $550 for this Iron Man. I also love this, for $100 you can get Jurassic Park, the scene from Jurassic Park. That is awesome. I've just found Hogwarts as well. $470 for this, 6,020 pieces. How insane would that be? God, I love Lego. I love it and I don't own any Lego whatsoever. I'm gonna get a gear down before we leave here, but first, I'm a bit thirsty, so I'm gonna to go to Starbucks here and grab one of the strawberry acais with lemonade because I really enjoyed it last time. I think I've only had it once this trip and I got it from Magic Kingdom, so I really fancy something really, really fresh. So I've just got my strawberry acai. Now, that was probably the quickest service I've ever, ever had at any Starbucks in the entire planet. That was so fast. So for this was 7.30, which, has that gone up? That seems expensive for a beverage. Mm. Let's see how good it is. Oh, that was close. I know they got, I know they got wet by stitch. <sighs> that would have ruined my camera. Mm. Oh, that's amazing. That's good. So good. So refreshing as well. Is it worth 7:30? Probably not. So these guys picked up the Clover World, they got two Clover Worlds, because uh, it's the best one I said. Um, it's, it's, that smells exactly like Flight of Passage. So we've done that, and I just realised when we were in Disney Springs, we've actually never not been into the Art of Disney store. Like this entire trip, this is weird. So we're going to head on in now for the first time and check out some of the amazing stuff. I can see a Thomas Kincaid in the window as well. Love Thomas Kincaid. Wow, look at that. Oh my word. Look at the um, Steamboat Willie in colour. That is amazing. I love the fact they have happy ever after as well. And as well up there. This Peter Pan one is beautiful. It's $400. That is beautiful. I love that one as well. 
and Canto family. So that'll set you back $400 as well. And the vintage Disneyland. That's amazing. That is $299 for that. I'd love that as well. The working here is unbelievable. There's so many things that I really want. I wonder if they still have the Waltz signed check. I think last time I checked it was going for $7,500. I'm going to go and have a look. Yeah, so this is what me and Luce have. Just from the point it's not real though, we have a fake one. Because uh, just for this size, it is $1,000. And we ain't paying debt. So I've found it. It's not the same one I found last time. Um, but it is very similar. You've obviously got the signed check down here of Walt himself. And obviously a picture of him doing Steamboat Willie. And this is... Where is it? $22,000, which I don't remember it being that much. They've also got this above. This is $24,000. I think it's got Roy and Walt. Or is it just Walt? I think I can only just see Walt's signature just here. But for the entire thing, that's $24,000. Wow. And they've also got this on the other side, which is another one, which is another signed piece. But this is signed by Roy, and this is $6,500 crazy numbers and these are signed pieces obviously from the I'm assuming the the voice of Ursula Pat Carroll and so on and so forth now these are not too expensive this is $200 this is 395 which personally I don't think is too bad so I've just found this I'm about to go and find out how much this costs because I really really want it please don't be expensive it's the end of the trip so I'm running out of money <laughs> it's not fair. I'm going to go find out how much it is. Ben's actually got one in his hand. Um, I'm just going to show you. This is beautiful. You know what? That's not that expensive. The detail in that is immaculate. But it's the vision I really want. I've just asked for the price of this vision piece and it's $45. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to buy it. I've said for ages I've wanted want to take a piece home and I do think I can fit this in the suitcase somewhere it's dead flat and thin so I absolutely love it $45 before tax it's coming home with me also love this as well it's beautiful again $45 I feel like I've started a thing now every time I come I might buy a piece of art because I mean for $45 it's not too expensive but they would look amazing in the house oh, I love it I'm currently looking for a Steamboat Willy one I just spoke to a lady as well who's also looking for a Steamboat Willy one so, fingers crossed, we both find it. Amazing, I love this. I love it so much. I hope Lucy loves it. If not, I'm sorry, Lucy. So, I've just gone to the next shop next door. You literally just walk through this, this walkway here. So I think it's the same shop. This is beautiful. And they've also got an Encanto one, $400. The colours on this, the camera isn't doing it any justice, but the colours on this is beautiful. And that again, $400, which I think is an absolute bargain. What have you found it? Oh, that is so nice. Look at these. So these are 300. Look how shiny they are. I don't know how much these bottom ones are. Well, my guess is they're going to be $45 because they're the same as the one I've got in my hand. Yeah. That's my guess. I, can't, I mean, don't quote me. This. So this is Disneyland, obviously. Kevin Kidney. So it's called, yeah. Disneyland one. That is $399, $400 before tax. The colours on this are beautiful. Wow. I want, I want everything. I want everything. We're looking for, very similar to this, we're looking for a Cinderella one for Nat. But we haven't quite found one. We found a Cinderella piece, but it's about $10,000. So, um, well, we won't be buying that. Oh, this is amazing as well, the Terra Terra. That's uh, $299 for that one. Okay, we found one. So this was the piece that I just said, the original one's outside, and it's $10,000. But we've just found this one. Do we know how much this cost? Do you want me to ask? Let's ask. Excuse me, do you know how much this will cost? Uh, 45 dollars 45, wow. $10,000, is that in there? Yeah, that one's too cheap for me, that $10,000 one. <laughs> $45, that's amazing, are you gonna get it? Yeah, she should do. That's the colors on that. That's, that's like, it's like a, it's the vibrance of it, isn't it? It's like, it reminds me of Pandora, Avatar. You ain't got a clue, have you? <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. It's colorblind, by the way, if you didn't know. It's colorblind, so I'm asking him about colors and he's got no idea. So guys, look what I found. Steamboat Willie. I also got this one as well, but I actually asked a lady in there, she's from America as well, 
uh, she had Steamboat Willie on the back of her leg, so I said to her, have you seen any Steamboat Willie kind of pictures? And she said, no, but if I do, I'll let you know. And I said, if I do, I'll let you know. Um, and she came back with this, the, the chap she spoke to one of the cast members, she went round the back, uh, sorry, he went round the back, and there was one left. And it's this, so this is also $45, but she claimed to the cast member that I was family, and I got it for $38. How insane is that? Result. So I've got the two. I've got the two. I've not obviously Lucy's not seen them yet, but how amazing is that? But oh, I've got my artwork. Lucy is just on her way back with Leanne. Uh, they actually got quicker faster than we thought. It's currently four o'clock. So we're just gonna head over to Gideon's now. We're gonna see. I'm not sure if we're gonna get in, but um, Nat and Ben wanna go and have a look at Gideon's. I might nip into the Ganachery and have a look. I've always wanted to try something from the Ganachery, but I never actually buy it. Because when I've come to Disney Springs, I always go to Ghirardelli. So I've never bought anything. We'll see, we'll see what happens. First, first stop though, we need to go to Gideon's. It's the first time we've been this trip. Um, but to be fair, Disney Springs is very quiet at the moment. So it could be a possibility we could potentially get in. If we do, I might try one of the cool brews because they look amazing on Instagram. I've tried a cookie. I mean, me personally, a cookie's a cookie. It's a great cookie, don't get me wrong. It's probably one of the best cookies I've had in my entire life. But it's not a brownie Sunday, is it? It's not for brownie Sunday from Ghirardelli, which is just here. So head over there, check it out. I'm not a big fan of coffee or anything but I'm open to trying a cool brew. I found one coffee that I really, really like, and that's from Starbucks. So, we'll see what happens. So we're just near the Amphicar launch here. Um, I've always said I really want to do it, but the last time I checked, the prices were extortionate. And I don't really want to, I, I, can't, I honestly can't remember. I've not found out how much they cost, but I do know they're expensive. And me personally, I'd rather buy other things than, than do that. And I'd rather go on the, the hot air balloon or the balloon. But I do remember they were extortionate prices. Do you remember how much they cost at Amphicars? The Amphicars, I thought it was about $170. I'm pretty sure they're more than that. I'm not they're sure. Very expensive. very expensive for what it is. I mean, the experience is amazing. I mean, if you split it between four people, it'd be a little bit cheaper, but it's a lot of money. In fact, we rented a car for less than that. So it'd be a great experience, and I do really want to do it one day. Um, just not now. Spent Can't on, see dolphins on them. Spent all my money on that. <laughs> It's gonna smell beautiful in here. Oh, actually, it's like a very, very, very light chocolate smell. Oh, I do like this. That's me in a cup. $35 for this cup. Wow. Chocolate is good medicine. I agree, 100%. It's $28 for this. Oh, my word. So this is 26% uh, dark chocolate. Wow. So I've never bought anything from here, and I always say I want to buy something. I found this little uh, chocolate pot. It's got strawberry ganache in it, and it's 6 50 so I might have to pick this up. That way, I'm not carrying around a lot of chocolate, because it's very, very hot outside. But I can smash that in two seconds. So, I picked this up, it was 6 75 after tax. I'm not sure, I don't know what I'm expecting, I'm not going to lie. Um, but it looks really pretty. Oh my word. Oh my word. What's that thick? Oh my word. That is so good. That is stupidly good. That's so rich. I want you to try it. But only a little bit. Don't nick it all because it's only small. Also, I just want to point out as well, we mentioned about getting chocolate in here. Um, because Florida is so hot, they said what they can do is you get a box of chocolates and they put an ice pack over it. That way it doesn't melt in the Florida heat. Like, how thoughtful is that? Think about everything. That. So good, that's unbelievable. It's strawberry by the way, but it's very subtle strawberry. I'm in love. Oh my god. So it tastes like the most premium chocolate you've ever had with the like a very fresh strawberry taste. Like the real fruit strawberry, not like the sweets. Ben said you couldn't eat multiple what? Oh I could. Oh my god. Unbelievable. She is back! We have been reunited. You've been gone a few hours, haven't you? But she's washed her hair and stuff. It's only like two hours. Two hours? The bus from Typhoon, no, the bus from Disney Springs to our hotel, we had to wait long ages again. Sure. Well, she approves of the artwork, so that is a result. Um, but we're just about to head to the Uber pickup section. We're gonna go and head over to Cheddar's now and meet Vivian and Karen again. Uh, grab some tea, I know I've just had dessert, but you know. Never full, so I was saying, I'm never full. Are He's starving. Yeah. I just we need anything in the room to fart? No, because we need to be hungry for cheddar. Yeah. But yeah, I'm hungry now. Like I'm hungry for proper food, but that chocolate, I couldn't say no. I've, I've said for a long time now, I want a chocolate from Ganachery, and I'm glad I found it. It's one of the best chocolate. Probably one of, the, yeah, best chocolate I've ever even tasted. That's unbelievable. 
So I'm ready for some real food yeah, now. You've always said you wanted to. Haven't I? To that place. Yeah. yeah. So I'm glad you managed to do it. Yeah. I just decided. You know what? About it, to be honest. Teasing half an hour. It's fine. I'll be right. By the time I get that, I'll be, I'll be starving. So I've just ordered the Uber to Cheddar's, and it came to 23.50 for the six of us. So divide that by the six. It's very, very cheap. It's going to be around in the next five minutes or so. So we've just got to Cheddar's now. It took us 25 minutes. A little bit of traffic, but our Uber driver was amazing. It was so nice, wasn't it? Yeah, he was probably one of the best we've had. Yeah, he was super, super talkative. Really nice guy. Uh, but the guys are in, Viv and Karen, uh, Karen are in there now. They've got us a table, so we're going to head on in Hopefully. and grab some food. Uh, what is on this? I'm not 100% sure. It's, it's honey, butter. honey butter. Oh, from last time they're amazing. They bring these automatically when you set the table. Yeah, I love these. I can smell the flash food. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. It's worth coming just for these, isn't it? Yeah. So good. That is amazing. They're amazing, aren't they? They're unbelievable. I just love that when you sit down, they bring them to your table. Yeah. They're amazing. Remember these from last time? They were amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Another reason to come in. One thing we've learned though this time is we're going to share food. We're not going to buy two separate meals because we wasted a lot. I say we like waste a lot. Lucy wasted a lot. So we're sharing. Yeah, we eat a lot. Yeah. Yeah, that's I'm like Kaz. Yeah. Me and Kaz are the same person. I'm just a fire. <laughs> so good. How good are them? Yeah. Definitely order these when you come. Yeah, definitely. There is a lot. You get a lot. They're amazing. Oh, oh. There's not going to be any of these wasted, I'll tell you that. Wow. So the food has just come out all together, it just came out all at once. Yeah, look, we've not even like, <laughs> I only had one of them before yeah. the um, But they brought us mash and cheese, so she's going to go back and get some um, cheesy fries. Because I'm not going to, I don't, I'm not going to eat that mash, I'm not going to lie, I'm not a huge fan of mash anyway. Yeah. But you know what, I'm going to give, I give the tender a try and oh, they feel mega. And this is uh, spicy honey as well. Yeah, we've got that and barbecue on with. Yeah, wonderful. They're, so, they're way better than Disney. That's ridiculous. God, that's what. <laughs> that's spicy, that. That is, that is spicy. <laughs> My eyes are watering. It, it's sitting at the sitting at the back of my throat, you know it is. Anyway, I was going to say, before you started talking, that with the chicken and the ribs, you get to pick two sides. So we went for cheesy fries. And coleslaw. And we brought cheesy mash instead. Yeah. Um, and coleslaw, which is, yeah, actually, this looks good, actually. Wow. Wow. Yeah? Look at the juice on that. Amazing, amazing, and so cheap. Yeah, so we're just waiting for the cheese and fries, and then yeah, yeah we'll be good to oh, I, love, I love it here. Yeah. We've got a lot of food. Wow. So we've just got to the Magic Kingdom now. We're just about to board the ferry to the kingdom itself. Um, but Cheddar's, wow, amazing. Cheap. Cheap. <laughs> that is one word to decide if, that. If you are looking to save money and you want fantastic food, I would definitely recommend going Cheddar's. It's amazing. Yes, All it those. Out. 
Um, is it twenty dollars each? Twenty dollars each. Yeah. And twenty dollars and seventeen cents. I'll, um, each. I'll, I'll put the bill in. Yeah. Because I um, did a little B roll of the bill. But yeah, twenty dollars. But for all those croissants that you see that they brought, they are for free, by the way. The, the the times we've come, they have never ever charged us for those croissants, they have they? And we asked for more because I think Vivian and Karen asked for some for the start. Yeah. And they just brought them for free again. They brought loads as well, yeah. didn't they? So it's amazing. Also, if you are leaving and you really like the drinks that we, she made me like a, a peach, strawberry, and raspberry lemonade together. And I asked her, I said to her, like, Could, do you have any takeaway cups? And she said yes. So to she go, made yeah. she made us all a fresh lemonade to go. Oh. Yeah, it was she amazing. Was so nice. Was she called Destiny? Uh, no, she was called Honesty. Honesty, Honesty that's she, it. Was oh, she was lovely. She was amazing. So yeah, they were all really nice in there. Yeah, I think I preferred this restaurant to the last Cheddar's went. It, it, you yeah, could it tell it was. I thought it was the same, but it was different. When we got there, I was like, oh, we did, I haven't been to this one then. It was modern. It was clean, wasn't it? it was yeah. I mean, the other one was clean, but you could tell it was a lot darker than this time. Um, but ten out of ten, it was amazing, wasn't it? Ten out of ten. Uh, also, yeah, we always say this all the time. Make sure you share the meal. Oh yeah, that, it was there is, doing that one. It. There's so much food. So much food. Um, 10 out of 10. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, we loved it. Um, but we are just about to board the ferry now. The ferry's just backing up as we speak yeah, now. Um, Karen and Vivian have a car. So we got in a car from Cheddar's to Magic Kingdom. The others got a taxi, but we're splitting it between the six and it was two dollars. Two dollars. It was twelve dollars for the Uber. Yeah. So, so amazing. really cheap again. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get on the ferry. Let's head to Magic Kingdom. Guys, we are in the Magic Kingdom for the last time this trip. So we're going to ride it out till 11. It does shut at 11. Our last time here, isn't it? It's our last night. Yeah. But you know what? We're the best people in the best place. It's going to be a great night. It's currently yeah, can't wait. quarter to eight. So we've got a few hours left, which is fantastic. But we've decided the first ride in Magic Kingdom has to be the carousel because we haven't done it yet. And Nat said she really wanted to do it. And we just checked on the app and it's, it's a five minute wait. So even better. It's virtually a walk on. I want to be daring, baby.
happily ever after was amazing as always. It was so nice to be able to see it on our last night. They did delay it 25 minutes due to the lightning, but at 25 past nine, they managed to start the show, which was incredible. For a minute there, we thought it ain't gonna happen, which is typical because uh, Vivian and Karen have only paid for a day pass here in the Magic Kingdom, and of course, it's our last night. So we thought, of course, they're not gonna show it because of the weather, but you know what, 25 past nine, it was amazing. By far, best fireworks show in the world. But, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> See, even they loved it. Um, the best fireworks display I've ever seen, and, and I do truly believe that. It's unbelievable. Uh, but the plan now is it's currently 10 to 10. So we've got an hour and 10 minutes before the pipe officially closes. So we're going to go and hit Spaceship. No, I'm not. That's a lie. That's Epcot. Space Mountain. We're going to hit Space Mountain. We don't know about the wait time yet. Uh, we've not checked. But we've just come off Space Mountain now. It literally took us about 15 minutes to go, which, to be fair, it was posted at 30, so. Amazing, half, half the time, fantastic. And then we came out, and for the last time, we're gonna get the cream cheese pretzel. Amazing. Hey, glad you've got it now. I said to her, she needs to get one before she leaves tonight because it's the last chance to get one. The best pretzel in Disney. So you're welcome. We did Pirates, Pirates was a walk on. But now it's quarter to 11 now, the park shuts at 11. So the last ride for all of us, including Nat and Leanne, we're gonna do Big Thunder. Now the sign just dropped from 30 to 20, so let's see if we can get this done in 10. Last one of the trip, guys. Yeah, boy! A few moments later. So unfortunately, we did not get on Big Thunder. As soon as we started queuing, the ride went down um, and they didn't know how long it was gonna be. They actually sent the cast crew over to get the people who were stuck on the ride off the ride. So for us, obviously, it shuts at 11 p.m. and for deluxe guests, it stays till 1 a.m. So unfortunately, we now cannot ride anything else. But you know what? We've done it many times, haven't we, this trip? Big Thunder. Oh, that was so annoying, though. Yeah. It's like, it, I wanted it to be our last ride. Right. You know, the trip. Yeah, and Viv. the trip, like, of Magic Kingdom Day. And Viv and Kaz have they've not done it this trip, so. Trip, yeah. Oh well. Oh no, it doesn't. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, we're, you know, we're all happy just to be here, to be honest with you. Yeah. Like, like it's just. I feel like just these past few days, every like one of the rides we go on, it's breaking <laughs> just down. Break, yeah. Like, yeah, I'm in technical difficulties. Yeah. I'm not doing well, are they? But you know what? At least we didn't get stuck on the ride because that. Some people disaster. were stuck on the ride. Yeah, they were stuck on it. Um, so that didn't happen, but no, we uh, those guys are just having a walk around the Magic Kingdom, taking yeah. get some footage and things. Uh, but we are going to head out now. This is going to be our last night in Magic Kingdom. Could just see the castle. Look how beautiful that looks. Look. Look at it. Absolutely stunning. It's so big. I know. So cool. <laughs> we are just going to head out now. We're going to head back to the hotel. I know, um, like, if we weren't with the others, I think we probably would have stayed. But, like, yeah. We just I'll happily back. stay in here all night, mate, to be honest with you. I think the other guys want to go back. Yeah. So. We need to um, put these uh, paintings slash artwork in the suitcase. Make sure they don't get damaged. Um, we in the window, oh, we do they? We need to find some ground. Yeah, I don't think they sell them anymore. We'll find out. We're home now. We're just sorting out the suitcases, unfortunately. We have actually packed, we packed this morning, but we've got a few more things, like ears that need to go in, the new um, pieces of art that we've got. They're nice, aren't they? Yeah, they're really nice. Uh, but we are packing, we've got to sort all the stuff out now, but majority of it is done. It's just things that we've got on now and things that we're wearing tomorrow. And then just like the toiletries and stuff like that, the toothbrushes and all that other rubbish. Um, but we are back today, it's been a wonderful day. It's been very nice. It's a shame we didn't get on Big Thunder, because um, that would have been cool as a, as a last ride, but hey ho, it is what it is. There's nothing we can do about it, is there? Nah. Nothing we can do. Um, I but that was just our luck, wasn't it today? Just typical, our luck. Um, but what a good day, such a nice day. Um, nice spending time with Vivian and Karen as well. Cheddar's amazing, 10 out of 10. Wonderful restaurant, probably one of my favorite meals we've had um, this entire trip. And it's mega cheap which we always say that's why it's so good. You get great quality food and, and it's really, really cheap. So let's get packed and then uh, yeah. get ready to go home, unfortunately. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna spend the day at uh, Epcot. We're not getting picked up by Mia's until six and we're flying at 10 p.m. I think it is. So it's a very late flight. It's because they pushed our original flight, you know, when we were taking off to come here a couple of hours back. So they give us a couple of hours back returning. So at least we get almost a full day in Epcot. We're yeah. gonna try and get Tron as well, and she's gonna try Tron. Tron. 
no, Guardians, he means. I meant Guardians. It's because I've just been in Magic Kingdom. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, uh, Guardians. Like yeah, Guardians. Guardians is what we're Yeah, do. if we can get it, me and Leanne have said we've got a pact, we'll both just go on it. If I shut my eyes the entire way around, then at least because I've done it. You know, it's amazing. You see can... what I like. We, we both love Guardians of the Galaxy, so. And you do space. And people have said I should like it, so I'm just going to do it. I mean, I don't know what to expect, but. Yeah. So, a bit nervous, but you know. With that being said, we are going to end it here. So, thank you guys for watching. Please do like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful evening, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.